I really think a lot about what am I putting out there for people. I'm, I'm, I'm asking them to listen to my music. So to me that's like a big ask and I really want to feel every time like this is worthwhile and it's worthwhile because I stepped it up. The most important thing though I think is like making songs that are going to mean something to people, you know, that are going to get people's attention and, uh, and actually like matter to their life, right? Going into making the album what I was interested in was um, exploring success and failure and why I called it Flying Colors is like this ultimate sense of um, that we're, we're all okay. We're all successes in a sense, you know, that's kind of where I want it to fall. And, and it kind of occurred to me in that moment that calling it that and putting it in that frame will actually probably allow me to talk about failure a little bit better. Flashes of massive plane and stock crashes, flower baskets and caskets, AIG and BIG and CIG, red ashes from that burned down Baptist church where little black fists never got raised in the light of today's practice, supposed post blackness. <laughs> To be perfectly honest, I think it's my best work. There's like work that is so genuinely like inspired, you know, and, and The Old Prince was, was one of those ones. And then there's other, like, you know, like the last album that I did, there was a level of like precision in the like the execution that I thought was like a, a step up from The Old Prince. And I think this one kind of has a mix of both. Um, I think it, it has some, just some genuine like inspiration and also uh, some, some clarity.